So I had one of my clients ask, you know, generator, how does generator interact uh, with the Schneider, with the SCP, with the Combox, with the AGS? And here I'm just kind of push you through it. So I've got quite a load on my system right now. As you can see that my voltage is at 40, uh, 41 volts. So let's just have a look. So I always say push exit exit just to make sure you're at the right place that I know you're at. Go into enter. Now we're going to take and just have a quick look at something else first here. Whoops. Go enter. We'll take and go, uh, go into inverter. We're going to go into inverter and we're just going to look to see what the LBCO is set at. So that's low voltage cutout. So low voltage cutout, low battery cutout, sorry, is at 42 volts. So we want to make sure that when we have heavy loads of the system that it's going to be at a safe parameter for the batteries. Now I kind of have a special battery and my low battery cutout delay is 600 seconds. And the reason why it's that long is let's just say I put a really big load on the system and it's so big that the generator needs to start. And that's where we are right now. Now I want that delay to be long enough so that by the time the generator starts, the inverter is still on. And by the time the generator warms up and connects, the generator is still on. So you need to have that quite a few minutes when you start realizing how a diesel engine, the glow plugs, and warm up period, and everything qualifies before it connects. So there we had a look at that. Oops, I'm going to enter, I'm going to go exit, exit. Got to stop looking at the screen, it's getting me all goofed up. Okay, so now we'll take and go down. Let's go into uh, generator. So on the on a Schneider, it's called an AGS, automatic generator start. We'll go and enter. So it's my my generator's an on automatic, and the mode is operating. Okay, so we're just gonna have a look at uh, advanced settings. So let's go into enter and advanced settings. Quiet times enabled. It tells the times the quiet time. Generator type. So you type in you know your glow plugs and how many. Uh, what different relays do and how many minutes the, the cranking goes, or sorry, seconds, <laughs> how many seconds the cranking goes. Okay, configuration trigger. That means what things is going to happen so that my generator will start. So in your 30 second time, you can see there that it's for 45 volts. And then of course your 15 minute one, your two hour one, and your 24 hour one. Okay, that's the options I have put in there right now. Now, I have mine so when it's running, it'll stop on float. As soon as it goes into the float uh, sequence of charging, it'll shut the generator down. Okay, absorb is shut off, which means it's still going to keep running through the whole absorb cycle. Voltage, in case something got weird, it'll shut the generator down. It's a good safety. Uh, temperature is disabled. I don't have a temperature thing hooked up. Load is disabled. Load is actually really neat. So what happens with load, and on this one here, I have it set for 33 amps. Now it's turned off, so it's not set, but if my load was to reach 33 amps, generator would start, and it would stop when it hit 26. Now I played with that a bit and went, no. Instead, there's your load delay. SOC, I use state of charge. So my state of charge is enabled, and my generator starts at 50%. And shuts off at 80%. And that's probably a little low at 50%. I should probably have it at 60 or 70. It just seems like every time it starts at 70%, tomorrow the sun shines for three days. So it's kind of one of them cloudy, rainy day things. Uh, so that's about it for that. So we go back up to the top. As you could originally see, it looks, you know, my generator is going to start at 45 volts. So let's just go all the way back, exit. Let's go back to start and let's see how much load we've put on it. So I'm at 45.8 volts right now. So generator's not going to start. Oh, 47. My load's cutting in and out. Now, I guess what we could do is we can manually, we could manually start it. Uh, just think here. We go enter. If we're going to manually start it, so automatic generator start. Let's go into uh, gen mode. Let's go into uh, manual on. So manual on, there you go. So generator's going to start. So let's exit out here real quick. Exit, exit, exit. Scroll through the parameters. So there's the inverter, charge controller, charge controller, battery monitor, and here is generator. So it's saying that it's preheating right now. I can see preheating. We just keep watching it. It's going to start to do some stuff. 
I think uh, I preheat for 15 seconds, I'm not sure. There we go, start delay, cranking. So now it's in the cranking stage. It did start, I can hear it running, it's very quiet. So running, manual on, enabled. So now we go back to the front real quick. We'll see here on AC2, it's already picked it up. So it sees the generators running. Uh, I have my generator set for probably five minutes of warm up mode. Now, some people go, the generator started, I want power now. Well, it's a diesel engine and I want it to last. So I have mine set, I mean, maybe three minutes, might be five minutes. So we'll just pause here and wait a little while before it to enter interconnect. Well, there we go. And sorry, I said interconnect and I really should have used the term qualify. So of course the power was there, it's qualified. It's now uh, connected, so it says load. And it's uh, running off the generator. So let's just go have a look and see it in meters. So as I always say, go exit, exit, go enter. Let's go into inverter, go into inverter, go enter, go down one, which is meters. So here in meters, I'm on uh, AC2. So AC2, there's my generator. I'm pulling 6,300 watts uh, from the generator, or 6,200. Tells how many amps per leg, tells the frequency. Now when I go down, this is my, my frequency load, or sorry, my uh, load from the inverter. Now you can see that the inverter's helping because the generator's not big enough to supply all that load right now. Okay. AC good, DC. So it's, you can see it's pulling 20 amps, 19 amps from the batteries because the generator is not big enough. Battery temperature, there we go. So now we'll back all the way out. And you can see that the generator is supplying 6,000 watts and the inverter still needs to pick up another 800 or so from elsewhere. Now I'm just going to pop you off the stand here and we'll go to uh, see the computer. So this is the Connext Insight, which is a web portal, uh, cloud-based. Now on here you can see that I had 20 kilowatts today from the sun as a maximum. The sun's kind of coming down now. Uh, you'll see my house used 23 kilowatts. I got a lot of stuff going on. Energy to the battery, 11 kilowatts. From the battery, 6. And over here it says that the generator's not running. Now, we, we both know that the generator is running, so let's see why that is. Ah, 11 minutes ago was when this transferred information, okay? And as you can see, that's the Connext Insight uh, web portal. So what we can do is we can then, I have it already loaded in here, so I took my USB, I went to the comm box, I got the IP address, uh, there's my IP address, it took and loaded it into the computer, so now I can see it. So I still have a little bit of sunshine, uh, generator's been running, or sorry, it is running right now. I'm pulling 6,000 and some watts. A little bit's going to the battery, it says. And uh, computers always got to bring something up you really don't care about. So now you can kind of see some of that. Oh, golly. Go away. So let's go into the solar and see how the solar was today. And we're just kind of getting a big overview of all kinds of neat stuff. So you can see the sunshine came up. You can see how many kilowatts, it was 20 kilowatts today for the sun. I always find these two things here really interesting, okay? So it's PV and AC daily summary. So we can see kind of what happened. And I really use this for my customers. There's your fridges and deep freezes turning all night. There's your well pump turning on. There's the sunshine spiking. Uh, probably that was probably some big load. You know, and then uh, I have a fish tank and it turns off and on and have cattle waterers and other things it happens so you can really start to see the you know of course the purple is the sun the blue is the is my energy load and it says that here load and stuff now generator just started sorry generator just started it's kind of a green like we can't see it because it just got going this is something that's really good too for new customers on this we get to see the whole profile so there's you know your fridges and deep freezes turning on all night there's your SOC state of charge. That purple line just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. So right there, it was down to maybe 60% 60, 60 of battery charge. Then the sun, right? Remember the sun was coming up. There's 8 o'clock. Sun's coming up and the batteries start charging up, up, up. 
The highest it got there, it looks like about 90% because there's the 90 over there. The colors are hard to see. You just got to kind of work with it. Uh, this green jaggy is uh, temperature. And uh, there's the temperature there. So it looks like this morning when I got out of bed, it was maybe plus 2. And now it's uh, getting around plus 15. So I must be hitting them pretty hard with the sun today. All right. Uh, of course, back over here is a lot of neat stuff. You can go see loads, you know, load profiles. It tells how many watts I was pulling all night and how much I'm pulling right now. Uh, we can go down here into, into hours. So I changed it there from hours into days. Go into days. And you can see how many kilowatts I pull most days. So, you know, it looks like the lowest was 20 kilowatt. We see two days like that. And a you know, day, days there, you know, day 24. And it looks like a few days I hit well over 50 kilowatts. There's the 50 kilowatt line. So apparently I'm still an energy hog. But it, it, it's, very, it's very good to show or to see for your customers. Uh, once you've hooked up a system, they can start going into here and really seeing it. And still, this battery bank daily summary, that's the biggest place. You can look at that and go, oh, I got out of bed this morning and my battery voltage was... You know, around 47 volts. You know, how much more do I have left? You know, and now here it's, you know, 59 or 60 volts. So I see the sun charging. You know, but did it do a full complete charge or or kind of are, are you behind the game? Uh, we can go into generator. So I just click generator there. Oh, whoops. Didn't click generator. There, I clicked generator. So generator, my generator since this year has ran 94 kilowatts. Okay, it shows right now, of course, it's running. I'm pulling 52 amps uh, at 236 volts. Usage today, seven minutes. But when you go in that, you know, for, for a customer or even for yourself, go into days. Okay, so it looks like I ran it on the 10th, 14th, 15th, and 17th. And when I ran it those days, each day I was over 20 kilowatts, quite simply. A couple days just low. But you can really see where your power comes from, where it's going. And as I always say here in this, uh, you know, battery bank daily summary, you can see when your teenager got up in the night and started gaming. You, you know, mine didn't. Uh, mine's actually in the military. But you can start to see this profile of, of things that's turning off and on all night. And it can make you scratch your head and go, what is taking power? All right. I hope that was informative. Uh, remember, you know, share, give a like, and talk to you soon.